Algebra, Algebra 2A, the yellow class. Today is a Tuesday, March 14, also known as Pi Day, if you're uh, with Math 3.14 and that kind of thing. Also, my son's birthday, not that that shouldn't matter to you, but whatever. Maybe he's lucked out or maybe not. In any case, problems 1 through 8 are considered, okay, yeah, I think I could teach anybody 1 through 8. No big deal. We all should get it. So with a highlighter, do me a favor, right above 9, I want you to draw a line right above 9. Now, this might be a mistake because it might make people think that below the line, right above 9, um, those are where the hard ones come. Well, they're a little bit trickier. There are extra steps that go with those. Um, but again, grab a highlighter. Uh, and again, right above problem 9, you're going to draw a line um, so that it separates that top section. The eight of them that we have, let me mess around with. We're not going to eat them all today, though. So that, um, let's see, on another pass, where I can say, okay, if you try number 8, what if we do number six? Um, so I'm going to see how many of them we actually eat at. It is my plan to eat one or two of the ones below nine today, and then one other one. So let's see what we can get through, and still hopefully allow some time for those who happen to be uh, behind to get an opportunity to mess around with some today. And then let some of those who are caught up and enjoy the flavors or the benefits of being caught up. With that said, what is the um, learning target? A long time ago, they used to call this the objective. I'm like, oh, I wonder why they changed the learning target. Maybe it seems a little bit easier for um, young people never use objective. Well, what's your objective today? No, 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 you, can we hit the target? Yeah, everyone gets this. I assume that's what they traded for. Well, where do you write this? At the top of this page, it's going to be a little tricky for those who are big writers. I'm going to suggest up here. I don't know. That's the only space I can think of. Uh, uh, figure out where it's best for you. That's interesting. That's going to be that side. You can even write along this side uh, for space. Um, you get to decide. This is one of those moments in life where you get to decide. But the learning target is I can solve, here it comes, exponential, exponential, um, should I say functions or should I say equations? I'm going to say equation. We generally solve equations. Uh, even though a function is an equation, um, exponential uh, equations. Uh, again, as some of you know, and I've tried to mention it, um, the words is what messes up a lot of students. What's an exponential function or an exponential equation? Using log logarithms. Today, since my goal is just to introduce this to you, whether you know what an exponential function is, or whether you know what a logarithm is, won't be the big deal. I'm just doing steps today. Step one, step two, step three. You get to step three, you win. You won the game. So that's what I'm going to teach today. Uh, I'm going to do one version where it's the full on version. You're like, whoa. So I'm going to do the shortcut first, which is going to be You can do the long version, so that when you do the shortcut, like, oh yeah, I'm doing the shortcut, but that's easier. I'm going to do reverse. I'm going to do short frame. Like, okay. Now look at this big ugly one. Now just see it. Go back. All right. So let's start with uh, backing up to something you know that's called scaffolding. Uh, where you back up. Uh, you're aware of the writing now. You're on your notes paper. You'll know when to use the paper with the props. So I'll do the same way to do number one. We'll do it on our double paper. And then your final answer, x equals whatever, you'll put back on the regular paper. So when it's time to turn in these, I know they'll be partners. The answer, the uh, handout, and then the notebook paper. All right, let's do some vocabulary. We need words. Let me do something under this logarithm. Um, usually we don't use the entire word. We just use the word log. And we don't even write it in capitals. Here's how we normally write it. So I'm happy to write the way we normally write it. Why they do uh, uh, a cursive L, I don't know. Um, but that's what it normally looks like. So, uh, please find the log of. Uh, sometimes people will do LOG. Either one is fine. Um, all right, let's start doing some stuff. What's up, Lane now? Let's do an addition. Oh, I didn't know addition. For those who um, don't like math, put a little addition that you don't have to be mad about. Uh, example one. This is about vocabulary. Um, let's do. Let's do seven 
equals uh, five. Five plus x. What I'm going to uh, have it to be doing them all is just show the steps and so on. Maybe I'll even do it. The part that's important to me is the vocabulary that I'm about to use. This first one will probably uh, say it together. Um, we are adding 5 to x. Um, what is the opposite of adding 5? Or what is the tool that we would use? I'm going to use the word tool to mean, hey, what is the opposite of adding 5? So here we go. First, what is the opposite of adding 5? That's subtracting 5. No big deal. We're going to put that in there. Um, so if we know to solve this equation, we're going to subtract. Now we'll start with easy stuff. You're like, okay, I see, I see. And then a new word is going to come out. This subtract is the opposite. Well, the opposite, we don't use that word. We use instead of opposite, which I'm going to write down one time, and I'm going to ask you to as well. Opposite. The real word for the opposite is, oh, does anyone know what the, what the, um, the real word is for the opposite addition? Uh, I said opposite, which is uh, another word that starts with a certain letter. Let me give the, the first letter is I. So the real word that we're looking for is the inverse. The inverse, and I'm starting to use that now, the inverse of adding 5 is subtracting 5. It's the tool, don't oh, put the word tool over here, doing too many words now. Uh, it's the tool we use to solve it. It's not exciting, but it's no big deal. So Thomas goes ahead, he does the work, he um, subtracts 5 on both sides. And he winds up with, of course, um, hey, someone on a 7 to take away 5 is uh, 2. All right. I'll take that. I know. I'll take it over here. Now, this isn't going to issue, but what I just did here, if you're okay with that, that's what I want to offer you today. So, the tool to solve with addition happens to be subtraction. Let's do another tool. Should I turn the whole brand new page? I'm going to see if I can squeeze this in on the second part of this page. Uh, for example, two. And again, for those who are good in math, yes, I know this is the easy section. Um, let's make it look a little bit uglier, though. But still, we're just looking for the tool. Let's do, let's make you a nine equals. Uh, for the uh, variable, um, I'm going to make a kind of two-letter combo. This DB, we're going to look at it as a single letter. Uh, DB stands for decibel, as in sound. Now, for those who are, have their heads in, you're supposed to take them out in class um, so that there's no decibels going into your ears when the, the teacher is talking. Um, and let's put a 10 at the bottom. So I have dB as if it were x divided by 10. Um, without you saying anything, please write down what the tool is um, to solve an equation when it starts off as division. Don't say it out loud. Just write down over here. Uh, what is the tool? Uh, that you would use if you were solving this one. It starts off as division. In a second, I'm going to ask what that tool is. And then we'll do the work. We'll do one more familiar tool, and then what the fourth tool will be the like, ta-da, do this new thing. Get ready, I'm going to ask for it. Here it comes. Hey, what's the tool that we're going to use to solve this equation? That multiplication. Uh, now, the inverse of um, addition is, or rather of division, is multiplication. I'll put multiply. If you put multiplication here, I'll still okay, multiply. So right now I'm easing in multiply. The idea is to get all good inside. Oh, this doesn't do that. And so I do the test problem like super crazy, but at least I want you to feel good for part of the time. So this is, uh, also under that, write the word inverse. Why does he even care about the words? Because math, they like to use their own words, and that's the part that messes you up. Please solve the uh, linear equation. Well, they find out what dB should be. That's right, the problem. But it's a linear equation, because if you were to graph this, it would be a line, linear. Uh, please solve. Solve means to get the letter alone. And once you here, please solve the linear equation. Like, I have no idea what they're talking about. So there we go. I'm going to solve this linear equation uh, by multiplying 10 on both sides. I should have rewritten the equation uh, because, again, now it's going to look like it's all one thing. You go back on your notes, so let me do this. Let me change this, please. 
I'm going to rewrite a little bit. Why do you rewrite the thing? When you take notes, uh, if you put two steps on a single line, if a student needs to go back and look at it, like, okay, what do we do first, second? It'll be kind of mixed in, like, well, where is it? See step one? Oh, I see step two. Oh, I see what we did. So that's why I'm rewriting, and I would want you to do the same thing. Too bad you don't have different colored pencils or pens. You could do that like that. The tens are going to cancel. They talk about canceling. But really what that means, in case you've never heard it, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 1 times dB is just dB. In other words, what's on the next line? We have dB equals, uh, someone say 10 times 9, please. So I we'll get the job done. Um, all right. So right now, most of you are like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're getting, yeah, we're getting something new today. Yeah, we're about to go to the new part. So we just did the inverse of this guy. Oh, no, we got to do one more regular so that the new guy will look so much like the last guy. It's not the same. If some other maps saw me do it, you'd be like, really? You would do that? I just don't tell. All right. One more step so that when they get to their, uh, this is a three, example three. Let's see how they're going to do it. They're probably going to do it like this. Let's make you a... Four, five, five times x. I'm going to ask them to put in what the tool is, also known as um, the inverse. I'm going to ask you to, um, to solve it now. I chose small numbers so that your brain will know what the answer should be. But it's probably a bad choice, the number that I've chosen. But we'll see the transition when I do the next one. I write it down, write it down. Right now you should still be feeling good inside, like your um, junior high, your first uh, officer class. All right, here we go. Um, someone who has an answer, so if you answer, you're, you're out of the pool right now. Uh, someone say what the um, what the tool will be in this case. Uh -huh. The inverse of a uh, multiplication is division. Um, again, I'm going to write it twice. Yeah, I'll write it twice. And now the next one. We divide our pile on both sides. Um, the reason this was a kind of a poor choice, because watch this. When I divide 25 by 5, I'm going to wind up with a 5 equals x. Some student in math is not very good. He or she thinks, oh, whatever you divide by, that's all my answer. Since you divide by 5, well, then 5 is the answer. But now it just happens to be 25 divided by 5 is the answer. So as a math teacher, normally you want an answer to be completely different so that a student doesn't have to guess. All right, um, for those of you who are sometimes fours, it is now your turn. All right, let's do this one now. This is the new one. Example four is new. So you may have gone to school where you did this already, but here we go. Five. Five raised to the x power. We have to figure out the answer now. I made the problem easy enough that some people may be able to figure out what the answer is, but I wonder if they know it officially or if they're just able to guess at it. tool that we're going to write for this one, but I can see uh, how that could help us. All right. um, yeah, I can see how that can kind of get the answer. Any other names for the tools for this one? Oh, comes with, uh, another question. Anybody know what type of equation this one is called? Like, um, oh, I, guess, um, I didn't have a title for this one. Let me just put it in, and then we'll just go with it. I'm going to show you how to solve it. Um, the shortcut version, we'll do a real one shortcut, and we'll do a real one full on, and then from there, you'd be like, oh, that's all we have to do? And I'll be like, yeah. 
that's the big deal for today. That's the simplified version for today. We're going to add an ugly version today as well. But if you're good with the um, simplified version, don't be nervous that um, the ugly ones will come. The uh, opposite of this one is going to be uh, a log. I'll put the whole thing, logarithm. So let's do, yeah, uh, I'll put the whole thing. Logarithm. Also, log. The tool to solve an X when he's floating up in the sky is to tie a log onto him and drop him down to the ground. That's the vision you should have. There's a balloon and it has a big text on it, and you don't want it to float away, then you can tie something onto it for our class purposes. It'll be a log. You tie on the log to it, drop it to the ground, and you're good to go. That's the vision. <laughs> that said, let's do this answer the fake way. Yeah, we'll see this is the correct answer. And eventually somewhere in life you'll meet some other math that you explain it full on and everything's good. We're gonna solve this one kind of by divide. Let's see if I can keep a little piece of this picture here. Yeah, I see the picture here. We are going to do a little division, um, which is what log problems, when they're in the simplest form, which is what this one is in. What are we going to do? We're going to divide five on both sides. The only thing we have to add in order to do this fake problem um, is um, the word log. L-O-G has to go on the top. LOG has to go on the bottom. To show you step step one, I divide, as long as you add the word log, and then here's what I need to punch into your calculator, and I am going to um, rewrite this part, and I want it in your calculator. X, and I still want this um, log 25. Uh, anybody can find uh, where the log button is on our calculator? And then say it out loud. Because if you can't find it, then my little trick here doesn't matter anyway. Can someone say where it is so we can tell the others? Hey, everybody, find number seven. Next door to number seven, you can see the LOG. Um, when you type it into your calculator, the division problem, I want everyone to do it because I'm going to have to look at it. Um, the 25, if you don't close it off with a uh, close parenthesis, it won't work. Before you do it, let me ask someone, because someone actually knows the answer to this without the calculator. Anybody know what you have to raise 5 to? What power or what exponent you have to raise 5 to? For it to equal 25? Uh -huh. 5 raised to the second power. That happens to be 25. And now, I use one that you just think about it, but they're not. Uh, they're going to say 5 raised to what power equals a 17? Did you do that? And that's what we're going to get the, uh, the hard one. So, what is it that Thomas wants you to do right now so you can come around and at least take a look at it? He wants to see. Log 25 divided by log 5. And again, some of you are like, well, like, what does log even mean? Right for now, it's just a tool. It's the tool that you use to get an exponent down from up, up above. Okay. Um, but again, this shortcut uh, is just whatever the base is. Now, don't have more words. The base is always the number at the bottom. Okay, it's at the bottom of an exponent. Now, if there's some race of power that guy down low, he's the base. So you, when you drive or you ride people, they're, the bass is up really loud, but you know, it's boom, boom, something in the back is rattling. There's an old lady, she's trying to get from behind you all. In any case, the bass is off down low. Um, to get the x down from up above, from the exponent, the log is the ladder, and it gets you down. I'm going to show the real version in, in a moment. Nonetheless, let's get down, right down and answer it. Your job, for those of you who don't need to understand these steps, if I see that number down there, put them below everybody. The left side, you guys over here, you all get logs. Um, once you finish here with your logs, punch it in. That's standard three. The standard one. The simple version. Uh, granted, they're going to do the hard version on the test, but this is where it ends. So if anyone needs some, I don't know if I'm going to get it. But... All right, so let's do this. Uh, step one. Number one on the handout, you're going to do that problem on the, um, on the notebook paper. Um, and again, as you start running out of space, whatever, I have more noble paper, um, use front and back, and then we'll start this. Um, the main goal today is to, for the basics, and do a few, a few tricky, but um, my idea is the basics. So go ahead and uh, try setting up uh, number one, I'm write it on the board. You should have an example of mine that was there. 
steps on your notebook paper that way I see the final answer. This one after about a minute I'm going to um, come around and check mark. Are you doing your work on the actual paper? No, and yes, I know some of you write super small and probably can squeeze it in, but again, when I'm trying to get back on that notebook paper, you may be able to use both of these as uh, part of the six if we don't get enough pages, so that'll help you a little bit too in terms of your six. Let's make the three red. And that way you can follow the red. Follow the red, and that way you'll be like, oh, okay, I can follow the red. Three to the, um, B power equals 17. Let's have some guessers. Not the exact answer, but round about uh, three rates of what power would get you like a 17. What could it be possibly be? Like I know there's real answers out there, but let's say you didn't have a calculator, you didn't know anything about log. What kind of numbers would you guess for three? You at least get close to the answer. Good. 15. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, you would start with 2 always, like uh, 3 raised to the second power means 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, well 9 is too small, I'm going to get to 17. Maybe I do 3 to the third power. Well, 3 to the third power means 3 times 3 times 3. No, well, 3 times 3 is 9. Do I know what 9 times 3 is? And 27, so that's too big already. So here's what I know. The answer is somewhere between 2 and 3. B has to be either 2 uh, somewhere between 2 and 3. But again, for those who are like, okay, I'm not sure how to do this, here's what you do. Look at the red guy. Red. Red. Yeah, red, red. Then, uh, and I, some people put the log behind, I get it, and you wouldn't know. I'm gonna, you got to squeeze it in. So I'm going to log you right here. If you didn't write, if I didn't check on you, make sure you write this down. These are the kind of problems where like, nah, you get this. You just write red, red, and put that log in a bunch of steps. And this is why I say again, um, for those who are good math, usually they have good memory. I'm not remember the steps. So red, red, log, log, punch in. Okay, got it. Those not that good in math, sometimes like, okay, for a second. I forgot the order, not I can't do it. All right, so here's what I'm left with. I'm rewriting it um, again just so that the log people, um, is that a 17? And I'm going to put that, I'm still going to keep that 3 in red. That way they can feel that, hey, the only thing that happened is this guy here went below there. Now, I'm like, yeah, I guess uh, technically they're not supposed to teach them this way. The next one I'm going to do, you get to watch it and write it. Uh, but if it becomes confusing, just know that you can fall back to the easy version. One other thing about the easy version, the easy version only works if you have one thing raised to a power. If they throw in extra stuff, you got to get rid of the extra stuff first, which is what those wrong below number nine, then extra stuff below, um, or rather below number eight, uh, and then I'll show you how to do that. But we're trying to get it to look like this, because when we get here, hey, red three, red, red, log, log, the end. Um, by the way, what was um, log, what is it equal? I, I saw something with that, was it point fifty seven or something like that? Around it. Uh, so I'll take either one. I'll do this 57, just since the number's there for some people who rounding is like, uh, what happened to my 7? And so I'll break some rules of the math teacher just to make sure that the easy work. Now I haven't said it for a while, but I'm about to say it right here. Second, we're not dividing 17 by 3. Second, we're dividing the log of 17 divided by the log of 3. Um, and for that reason, this thing turns into that. 
So if you hit just a 17 and 3, yeah, it's true. No way, you get it out. Oh, oh, so my little zero thing is just I had the wrong answer. <laughs> I want to explain it. Alright, uh. Oh, and that, it actually makes sense that I remember holding. The answer has to be between 2 and 3. Oh, yeah, the answer point fifty-seven. <laughs> Alright. Anybody who wasn't confused, you get to be confused now. One, two. Did you define that something by the three? Alright, alright. Alright, so here's what I'm about to do. Now, good question. Any other question about this one? This is the shortcut version. Divide, red, red, log, log, good math. Alright, let's do the long version of it so you can see why you don't want to do the long version. Then we'll do a tricky one so they can see, oh, that's what they're going to be doing. And then one final tricky one. So we're in the neighborhood of about three or four problems um, in terms of introduction. Alright, long version. I'll do long version with number two. It's going to end in the same way, but this is technically what I should have said to you at the very beginning to confuse you right away. And then once you're confused, then you're like, but wait, 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 there's a shortcut. But by that time, you're like, forget it. I don't even want to know. So I do my shortcut, which is easier, and you could have gotten it. And then some people think they have a white, just do them in the first place. But the rules say I got to do the long cut. All right, I reverse it. Here it comes. Here comes the shortcut, I mean, the long cut version. The 12, um, the R, um, da -da -da -da, and the 13. Let me even make that 12 red so that eventually when we get back to where it used to be, you'll be like, okay. So let's imagine you could do this in the shortcut version. I'm going to ask for thumbs. Thumbs said, when I see this problem, I think of it as easy. Um, medium is like, yeah, I'll have that with you. Um, Tilting down, like, okay, no, no, show it to me one more time so I can see it. But show me those. You got this one on the test right now. And, okay, like, yeah, no, easy. Um, you know, somewhere in between, and then kind of tilt it, tilt it. Show me real fast. Um, you can hold it that way, kind of see. The reason I want to see is just to know with what I've said so far. Let's say I had a heart attack. I died right now. How would they be able to do their test? He's right. out. Down on the one. Give us the test now. All right, here we go. In a long version. Technically, to get an exponent down. We need a logarithm. A logarithm is the inverse. It's the thing that gets it down to be on the same row. What does he mean get it down the same row? He means this long thing here. I want you to write this as well so you know why you don't want to write it. But if some other teacher made you, you like, right, whatever. I don't do that on my own, but for you. Step one, how to get an exponent down from the top? You write the word log. It's like a ladder. Now, if you have the word log, and I want you to write this down. That R can just walk right over the 12 and climb down the L. So the rules of mathematics is, whatever you do on one side, you must do on the other. So we have to write log in front of 13 as well. Step one. Step two, we actually bring the R down on the next row. That is, um, I'll put the R in blue. This is the long version. So just do it with me. with all the steps, that way if you had to watch a video, see the steps you can see them. Now, r times anything, r times log 12 equals 13. Over here, some of you remember when two things are being multiplied, that the inverse, or the tool to use would be to divide. That's the tool. We did them at the very beginning. So, okay, what would I do? I'm going to rewrite this step so that there are never two things on a single step. Uh, so let me put this R, this log, 12. I'm going to keep the 12 red. That way you can keep tracking the red. Um, I'm going to actually write this long thing just this one time. That way when you turn in your work, we turn it in for you. They'll be like, oh, those kids do all kinds of work. Yeah, they're just copying. In any case, they'll write it down, write it down. Um, and here comes the step on this one. Log 12 gets divided on both sides. That 12 and red. Um, Take the red on both sides. Uh, oops, that's supposed to be a 13. It should be 12. So you can already feel like, sheesh. You can do all of that? That's what we'd all be doing? R equals, notice how it ends, log 13 divided by log 12. If my teacher was um, who gave me a little shortcut, I wish you would do that. But then we know that it's log 13 divided by log 12. This is the official way you teach it. Um, 
Alright, so um, what does it come out to? Uh, hold on, let me get an answer before they give it. 12 raised to the first power is 12. 12 raised to the second power is 144. 12 raised to the first power, so the answer has to be like 1 point something. Okay? Um, because that's be between 1 and 2. Someone say out loud what the answer is. 1.03? Alright, I'm writing it out. I hope they got it right this time. Put a box around your answer, of course. Put a lot of writing for the answer. Um, pause and look at all this. Uh, uh, here's the answer to number two. Do number three on your double paper. This one I will come and check. Alright, um, of course, look at the red, look at the red. The red goes below everybody. Uh, and then from there, everybody gets a log. Where are you here? Now, once everybody gets a log, um, I guess it's uh, n equals that's one point. I have one point seven seven, one point seven two seven. Yeah, um, is the number after seven? Um, what, what, what's after that original? For those who have got how to round, of course, if it's if it's five or higher, the number goes up by one. Take this up, it stays the same. All right, take a look. Uh, see if anybody want to ask anything. We're going to go to the next level where, again, um, if you're not confused, next level, whoa. We just divide everything. No, no, no. we got to make it look like this, where there's just one bottom. And not just one top, but one base. All right, here we go. I feel like most people kind of have it. Here we go. Let's see. Um, Put a question mark next to number 10. Why they chose to put one with the letter E? Anybody know what number E is? It represents a number. E represents a number 2.718. It's like pi, 3.14. Um, that's the only thing. But here's the trick. When there's an E, we never put the word log. I'm just mentioning because they're not about to do that. Use the oddball. You will need to know them eventually. But instead of, instead of putting a log in front of him, you put the letters LN. LN stands for natural N apparently is natural and L is a log, but I don't know why they switch it. But it's natural log. In other words, instead of putting an L O G for the top slope to climb down, you put L N for all the stuff to climb down. And then you do that. Um, on the calculator, is, is L N anywhere? So again, regular log, okay. So L N is on there eventually to be used. Uh, am I doing anything with L N right now? No, no, I'm not. I just want to uh, mention that. But here it comes. Uh, let me do. Um, Nine. Or right, let me do nine with you all. The trick to nine is we got to get rid of that extra five in front. Before we do other stuff, get rid of the extra five in front. Um, can someone say what the tool is that we would use to get that five from in front? Uh -huh, you would divide. See, that extra five in front is being multiplied times the 18 raised to a power. In the other class, I made the mistake. I was like, all right. Everybody try number nine. I thought like the simple version would get it all easy or whatever. And then they're like, oh. And even some kids or the students who I expect, they're like, yeah, they're going to, they And I'm like, all right, anybody need a check mark? Like, mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah, sorry, that was a mistake. So I get to test it out on the Monday Wednesday class, and I get the, the better version for you all. Uh, so let's see. This is equals what? Equals a 26. So that's why we're going to do it together. Um, also, um, I was going to put in the tool for me. Um, you know what? Uh, no, don't, don't put in the tool because there are too many things that have to happen. One of the tools is divide, one of the tools is going to be log, and then the final tool is going to be divide again. But let's see if we can just walk through it with some people calling out. Once you say your answer, you don't get to talk again. So here it comes. Um, step one, what are we going to do with the five? Multiply is close. It starts off with multiplication, so that will uh -huh, be divide. So step one. We'll divide this 5 on both sides. Really, I should put this under the whole thing. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 18 stuff is 7. So there we go. It cancels out on this side. We say cancel, but really just means it turns into a 1. So we're left on this side with an 18. 6x, um, the 26 divided by 5. That's a calculated problem. 5 point something. Says 5 point 2, so I'm going to punch that in just to make sure it is. At this point, you are back home. 
I saw on the test, and uh, we're going to try and get one like it. Uh, basically, they're going to push away from home a little bit with a 5. Push away from home a little bit with a 6X. Um, but right now, I actually feel like everyone can take that. Oh, let me make that 18 red. So I'll bring a bell to somebody. Red, red. Red, red. Log, log. And it takes you down to next level. Because of that extra 6, an extra move you have to do, an extra tool you have to use. But everyone at this stage, um, I want you to um, do what you would do next. Um, and at this part, I want to come. Okay, what if I did have this? Does this look close enough to the stuff we were just doing for me to at least get down to the next level? And then I'll figure out what to do with the 6x. that the original simplified version, like this, they probably won't just offer this. Um, they're going to put this extra five on there and then you have to do the section. Hey, 18. Red for you. Red for you. Squeeze in a little log on the top. It's the log on the top that allows us to do the skill division. All right, um, we're left now. I'm finishing this one off. Someone on the couch is going to have to punch some stuff for me. I'm left with this 6x actually equals... Uh, what is this log 5.2 divided by log 18 equal? <laughs> Just a regular 0.57. Yeah, see, that's the flashback. Uh, I was about to put my 0 0.57 and feel all proud of myself. Of course, I'm like, no. Mm -mm. All right, now. Um, hey, what's the last one we're going to do here? What's the tool in this case? We're multiplying by 6. Yeah, we divide by 6. So the point of these is, if you can get the x down to the regular level, then you're back to algebra 1. The algebra, whatever you did. Whatever you did. Oh. There's a 1.75 floating out. That's what I did. You got a 0. Alright. Alright, we can yeah, make them talk. Oh, Alright, yeah. bring it up to the front. Just duke it out. Alright, whatever. Right, right. You got 1.57? Nope. You got that? Oh, maybe that's it. Um, where are the 5.2s five, five located? Alright, right, right. right, so here it comes, here it comes. Um, <laughs> um, let's um, divide the 6 on both sides and call it a day. Uh, for this particular problem. This extra zero on this side, but so the question you gotta ask yourself is what does this answer even mean? What, what, what is point zero ninety five like? What is that the answer to? Now, why someone would ask this question, I don't know, but here's a question to ask. What's the number? If I put it in the place of X, it would uh, tell me, well, how should I say it? Yeah, when I put it in the place of X, I multiply times 6, uh, it's hard to say this one, but basically, what can I raise all this stuff to the power to to make it equal to 26? I need 18 raised to some power where it's 6 times that thing, and then multiply it times 5. Like, what is that number that I, I put in here, so really all of this, when I finish working it out, will equal to 26? Well, that number happens to be this, which is why, again, on your test, they're going to have word problems. In other words, they want the problem to mean something. What are you trying to figure out? Um, all right, uh, so that's ugly. Here comes one more ugly where I just um, do the steps, uh, and then one test like ugly, test like, that's it. So I got two problems. So if you're trying to figure out, okay, there yet. Um, 11. Can I make them try 11? All right, I'm going to have you mess around with 11 and say this. You gotta get rid of the three first. That's my hint, and I'll take your hand, and I'll ask uh, out loud, what is the tool to get rid of the plus three? Yeah, Look at number 11, there's a three we need to get rid of. What is the tool to get rid of that plus three? Okay. Subtraction or minus three? Watch the clock, we're down to the last two problems. Uh, 
just think that nine red is six of that is just one, two, three, equals plus ten, then plus ten. Oh, thank you. Again, once you answer, um, I don't say anything. I, I could come around and check where I'm going to think we'll just uh, do it together. Um, again, the main goal is if we just had a base raised to a power, we do the whole special law of thing. If there's an extra thing, you've got to do something to get rid of it first, then special move, uh, which is what the next problem is going to look like. And the next one, I'll try and make it look as close to it. So it's like, 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 like. All right, um, after you answer, please don't answer. Someone tell me what to do first. I want to use six. All right. Uh, so the three is gone uh, on both sides. Uh, someone else say out loud what 81 minus three is. Something different. So we appreciate that. Someone different. What am I going to do next on this level here? Rewrite mine. I know you all probably didn't rewrite yours. You probably just did the move. The reason I'm doing it, just in case someone sees it at home, I don't have two moves on the line. But uh, I think what Daniel was saying is the nine goes on both. So right now, there's almost not that much they can do. When I write the next problem, you'll see their attempt to try and make it harder. But now they're running out of things to do to make it harder. The only two other things they have is they can make it a word problem. And they know some math students are just going to pay to work on, period. Um, and then the other part, this is common. Uh, let me do one quick thing so that um, if some other math teacher sees your work, they're not offended by me. Uh, you don't have to do this, but if you did it in another room, I'd appreciate it. And that is this. If it confuses you, though, don't do this thing. Can I put the logs over here? Put them over here, too. Now, this is technically correct. Well, why didn't you just put the logs over here, too? But let's say add these new logs, throw you off, and don't add them. Get the right answer and let the other teacher think that. That's about you and me. Uh, but technically, these guys are supposed to be here. Um, he didn't match wrong, but whatever. <laughs> But, um, hey, log, uh, log 78 divided log 9 equals what, somebody? 1.98, then I'm going to, um, what am I going to do with this 10 on both sides? So this has to come out to negative something. Negative 8, 2. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I'm not going to like about grading this is a student clearly can do several steps and miss one card, make the death on with the negative sign. And I'll try to circle it so you know when you miss it. I right, down to the last uh, problem, the last one. I'm going to put it up there. But let me um, maybe try and throw you. So, um, this one is example. I don't know if the last example is real. Example something, example, I'll put example T, T for test. Um, so now they're going to try and mess around with putting uh, Y equals, instead of actually putting in a number over there, but I'm going to show you what they're going to do with that. Um, you can't, oh, it's red, so I give out some hints. I probably shouldn't put anything in red, but I am. I need to be mean about it. All right, that's um, Put that 214 in red. Four eight times is 2.14. Get it in there. 30 minutes like I'm so right. That's 2.14. Um, raise to x, uh, and then that equals something. All right. So there's a 
problem, they want you to solve for x. And I'll actually write out the instruction solve for x when y. You know, I'll put that in blue to give somebody else a hint. Something when y equals um, 400. I'm sorry, it's a to give an, uh, a hint on this one. That hint is um, normally there's a number over here. You have to figure out what number should be there. I can't tell you. Um, but step one, you got to replace this letter here with a number. Then you'll try and do the problem. This is their attempt to try and mess with these little Good luck with that one of you, but uh, you're supposed to be doing like some tests, but it's like some young people. This will be it. What I kind of want to say is to my, um, some of my math people who maybe could wind up a little trickier here by the end. Here's what I want to say to you. Um, if when you walk out the door, the only thing you have from today is, this is for, for sometimes for those who whom math is a little bit bumpy, then just kind of smoothly get in there and you're like, oh God, oh thanks. But you're like, you know, I'm trying to get the thing, but for whatever reason it's not coming. This is what I want you to have, these two lines here. The red guy's at the bottom, he's the base. Divide on both sides and write log. That piece there. When in doubt, just divide on both sides and write the word log. If I get lucky on it. Okay, right, let me go ahead and finish this other guy. Um, and then, um, let that be it. Tick, 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 tick. All right, uh, step one. Someone say, I like what I'm divided on both sides. 408 gets to be divided on both sides. Some people are unused to putting whatever numbers over here, and that 600 got divided on both sides. Let's look at that. I even did it, and I didn't even want to. Right, uh, uh, those calculators help with 408. 600 divided by 408 is one point something, yeah? go with the 1.48. Without that 7, my answer will probably be a little bit off from the other persons. And here comes my 2.14, hanging out with the uh, X. Um, I'll keep it in the parentheses, though. You don't need it. Once that 4.8 is gone, technically, the 2.14 can come out. Can someone say what I'm going to do next? Red. Red, for those who can color matters. Um, yes, that log thing has to be there. I'm not going to put the log in front of that 2.14 here. Um, and then the final answer is going to be, uh, I don't know, what's, uh, what's log 148? And, but, say again, slow. 5, 0, 6. Point zero 0.05. Alright, someone break the tie. Again. All right, we got answers out there. Not now. I don't have anything written down. Sit. All right. So, is that a third answer? That, are they all point five something though? All right. Uh, again, sit. Uh, each of the three people say an answer first. One person is seven, then the second person is the third person. Point five, fifteen, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. 
Now, guess what? If on your um, assessment you had this form um, 48 on the top and this is point 14, and this little piece here was broken, I might ask you to in your calculator the log of 148 and log whatever. And if your answer came out different than whatever, the fact that it's in there, I'd have to, oh, you didn't put your parentheses around the 48. Oh, you didn't whatever, whatever. So it's easy to fix it. This is the level of, of test. So if anyone is comfortable with this level, you're fine. For the most part of the level of test, they like to put it one extra place. And then that 600, they like to put it over here. We know to replace the Y. Alright, you guys have been very, um, very good today trying to work through all